So this is the D2 I just finished rebuilding completely. Everything from the ground up. Serial number's in the 1300 range, so it's pretty old. The front panel's been changed to a little bit newer version. Originally it had uh, two three-phase drum switches, which is typical of that era. The electrical panel was basically non-existent. It had two fuses and a uh, one little uh, junction box in there with a transformer. It's been upgraded to contacts with thermal overloads and it has all relays. The relays for this machine have been added because anybody that has run these machines, the older ones especially, know that they're a real pain sometimes. For example, if it runs out of stock before it gets to the straightener, the disadvantage is that the end of that stock feeds right into the straightener. And then it comes up to the one cycle lever, comes around to zero, stops, and just sits there, if you're lucky. And if you're not lucky, and it's pretty normal if you're running 330 seconds, 125, 156 stock, a lot of times the end of that bar will tip down slightly in the straightener, and as the straightener comes forward, it drives that material right up through the tools, and now you got to replace tools. What I've done is I added a, a uh, one cycle lever modification, out of stock lever modification, so when the machine runs out of stock, the lever flips down. Now not only will the machine stop, but the machine will come around to zero and stop, and then shut off. If your stock breaks for whatever reason in the straightener, and it does feed through to the one cycle lever, your one cycle lever will drop down, the machine will come around to zero, stop, and then shut down. I've added a timer, which is a nice feature. Those of you that like to run a few extra hours at night, or at least as much as the chip basket will hold, you set that timer for half hour, three hours, or 12 hours. Especially nice on a Friday night, you're gonna get some extra uh, night shift work without having to have somebody come in the next day to shut the machine down. Let the machine run, it comes around to the cycle time that you set it for how many hours to shut down, it stops at zero and shuts off. Now this is also nice when your material only has four or five or a dozen coils left. You know, you hate to have to throw on a full roll and you end up with a whole pile beside the machine of partial rolls. This way, just let it run. When it runs out of stock, it'll come around to zero and shut down. This way you don't have wasted material, you're not going to have inadvertent crashes due to running out of stock. This machine's been completely rebuilt, painted inside and out. She's running 303 stainless steel right now. Part of the way that I get it to come around to zero and stop is I've just put on a nice simple solenoid system, much like the newer machines of the late 70s and mid 80s except it doesn't cost as much. The machine can find its own zero right here. It's also adjustable. You can set your zero anywhere you want within the machine 360 degrees. Granted, you're going to want to keep it around zero to 180 degrees so you can get the cam, the feed cams on and off, no problem. However, the advantage to changing your zero once a year or every couple of years is that your your zero point can be at zero or 180 degrees apart from that, and you don't have as much wear in one spot on your worm gear, your bronze gear. Otherwise, that's the worst place in your bronze gear. Granted, they should be adjusted about every 10 years. But this way, you're gonna, you, you, you'd be able to get 25, 30 years out of a bronze gear because you won't have that one spot constantly wearing from the drop back on the cam. This machine does have a cover. It'll be installed before it gets delivered. But she's running good. Nice to have a few modifications on an old girl. So keep in mind if you have a old relic of a D2 or even a D4 that you uh, are getting tired of babysitting and keeping alive for 20,000, I can upgrade it so it looks just like this and has the same features. Be nice to have something a little bit more modern that's still 60, 70 years old.